Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview James Bennett, the heart of UMO sports photography. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Can you tell me how you got your start in sports photography at UMO? Yeah, um, so I'm a double major photography and graphic design at UMO, and freshman freshman year, uh, one of my homework assignments was go out and get some uh, photos, you know, of, of the area. So I decided just to go to a, a sporting event. It's free for students. Why not go? Um, so I went to, I believe it was a women's volleyball. I was taking some photos. Um, and Ryan Smith thought I was like an uncle or something to one of the kids. Uh, and um, he started to notice I was at all sporting events getting photos. So then uh, at the time, it was Dr. Kernstetter was the president and his wife, Mary. I got to know them very well, you know, love them to death. And she introduced me to Ryan, let her know who I was. And then, you know, we got to talking and, you know, and pretty much like agreed, hey, use my photos if you want. I'm a student. It'd be great, you know. And uh, so pretty that's it, really. Uh, I'm at everything at UMO. How did you know that you wanted to become a sports photographer? Well, I love photography. Uh, I had my first camera about eight. It's an old school Polaroid Insta, instant cameras um, before it was a fad. You know, they were actually a little pricey at the time. Um, and then I love sports. I mean, as a kid, I mean, it's always watching baseball. I love baseball. Um, so I figured I can combine the two. Plus, about when I think when I was about 10 or 11, I had a Sports Illustrated magazine with King Griffey Jr., my favorite baseball player, that I got to grow up watching. Um, he was on the cover, and I was like, wait, people can take photos of athletes, go to games and take photos. And it kind of – a bell went off, and um, I pretty much started about 10, 11, really wanting to do it. and. I did a little bit before UMO, but UMO has just opened so many doors for me uh, to do it, and it's the best. I get the best seat in the house, and rarely do I have to pay for a ticket. So, I mean, it's two really good things. Can you talk about um, your experience photographing the UMO versus NC State game? Yeah, that was really cool to go to. Um, it's just really amazing that, you know, we get to play teams like that. It's, you know, it's a, it's an exhibition games. It doesn't really count for, for us, but now if we would beat any of them teams, it would hurt them, you know, division one, we're division two. Um, but I mean, it was, you know, you see these places on TV and you're like, Oh, it'd be really cool to go. And my first time going to a state game, I'm sitting on the court, like right by the net, you know, uh, it was, it was amazing. The, the staff there were awesome. You know, if I had a question, I mean, I had somebody right there waiting, like, Hey, I, can I go do this? Or can you get me over here? Um, what was cool too, uh, during TV timeouts and stuff like that, I could actually go on the court and get, you know, the shots of, you know, the timeout where the players are all around the coach. Yeah. I was able to go, like, stand on the court where people I know, they don't get that opportunity. So, like, I took, you know, a little photo of myself with my phone, sent it to a buddy, like, he's a huge state fan. I'm not. I'm a Carolina fan. Um, and I was like, look where I'm standing on, you know. So that was really cool. It was awesome. It's the, the places I've been – because of UMO has just, it's been awesome. Can you talk about your experience photographing the UMO versus Carolina game? Yeah, so even on the way there, I told, you know, Coach Joey, I was like, Coach, I'm a diehard Tar Heel fan, so don't get mad if you see me accidentally cheering, you know, like, it was funny. Um, But uh, that was... 
you walk in there. I mean, you can just feel the history. You can feel Carolina basketball. And I was a little overwhelmed at first. Um, I didn't want to take a bad photo. Um, like, it's Carolina. You know, I was, I was nerding out a little bit. And um, about the flow of the game, we scored. So, that was the first game on the new court. We scored the first points. Um, oh, what else was a first? I can't remember the other, but we definitely scored the first points on that court. So that was huge. Um, that was that was amazing to see. And then, you know, to see the guys I photographed from Carolina, a couple of them are in the NBA now, you know. So that's really awesome. Um, you know, we came out with the loss. Not surprised, but we played them extremely well. Like, I really feel like our guys, I mean, they, they gave it their best, and it definitely showed. The score, you know, says one thing, but, like, their heart that they put in there was just awesome. Like, that was a killer game to me. Can you talk about your experience uh, photographing the US, USA um, baseball team? Oh, so – that event in Cary is the D2 College Championships. Um, so UMO and Cary kind of co-host, you know, we, Ryan and uh, Sugar Shane, shout out to you. Um, you know, we do a lot there. And uh, my sophomore, because let's see, my sophomore year I started shooting that event. Um, some schools hired me my first year doing it all but one team hired me to take their photos of their games which was awesome um it's a lot of baseball and it's all day which i'm good with that um it's really amazing to watch you know a championship event unfold from you got you know 16 teams down to two and you know whoever wins that last one you're the champ and to catch those photos um, when the game is over and these, you know, these kids, they're 18 to 21, 22, you know, they just won a college championship. This past year, I got actually photographed because the baseball, the MLB draft goes on during this. Um, and one guy had his phone on him and the coach was like, hey, get a photo of him when he's on the phone. He's being drafted. I was like, okay. And come to find out, uh, he got drafted by the New York Yankees. So I got to, you know, I was in their dugout taking photos of the games, and periodically I would just look. You know, he's walking back and forth, talk, whoever he's on the phone with to, you know, hey, you're next. Here you go. And to catch that moment of this young man's life and his family's life possibly changing was amazing. Uh, another photo that I remember was one of the guys had their his family, and he had a kid, and the kid ran out to the field and, you know, celebrated with dad. Like, that was awesome, too. So, I mean, a lot of good memories. Um, Carrie does a phenomenal job. The complex out there is – better than any I've ever seen. And it's ran so smooth. Those guys just do a killer job. That's so inspiring. Can you tell me about um, the process, what it was like going in the NCAA Division II tournament? Um, about with the, was it, baseball last year yes baseball yeah, so we had to go to north greenville it's a pretty fun drive it's long um that was an intense game anytime they come down here or we go up there it's intense like we're bitter rivals i'll just leave it at that uh <laughs> you can read between that um their field though it's crazy they actually have a time where the, it's too bright. The sun sets right in the like view of their field, and it's so bright that you cannot play until the sun's completely set. So your game will start, you know, daylight, and then if if you're playing a little later, 
you'll see the lights cut on, and then they'll actually have to stop the game to, uh, you know, give everyone a fair chance because there's – that's really not even a home field advantage because even they can't see – you know, if they're batting, they can't see the ball. If you're fielding, you can't see where it's coming. So that was a pretty cool experience. Um, and, you know, I love – you know, I've everywhere I've shot, you know, I've collected the – the passes, so that one hangs up with one of my favorites. Beside the Carolinas, number one. Um, that one's up there, though. Can you talk about photographing the um, Athletic Hall of Fame, the UMO Athletic Hall of Fame? Yeah, that's pretty cool because you get to learn the history, um, you know, of the team being represented that year. Um and you get to meet all these, you know, UMO athletes that have all kinds of records. And, you know, the dinner is amazing. You know, they get their plaque and everything. And then they tell their story. And it just inspires you, you know, like the hard work and dedication, not only to be a student, you know, they, they got to keep a, their GPA is up. You know, you've got homework, study hall, and then you're an athlete. So then you got practice, games and all of that. So like you just hear their hard work and dedication and kind of, you know, it inspires me to work harder, to be better and not like complacent. Um, it's definitely an honor to be able to go to those every year. Um, that's not one of those things that are open to everybody. It's, you know, that person, their family, you know, coaches and stuff like that. So you, to be able to just be in that same room with these, you know, UMO hall of famers and, some of them have gone on, you know, to the pro stuff, and some have used their degree to do their – and you just get to hear it, you know, and see see their families meet everybody, and, you know, I get to take the photo. So that's really cool. Can you talk about um, the ask, the rivalry between UMO versus Barton and how you like to photograph that games? So Barton – no, I got some friends that go there. So it's 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 a rivalry in the fact that we're down the road. Um we you know, both schools respect each other, but those game I don't care if you lose all game I don't care what sport it is, you know, you could be losing ev to everybody. You do not lose to Barton. Um and Barton, you know, when they come to UMO, they travel. Their, their fans travel. Um, so like, it's not, it's, it's 50, 50, no matter what we do, uh, you can feel the tension. Like it's, it's pretty cool to experience. Um, and it's, I mean, it, like I said, you can lose every game all year, but the Barton games, you cannot lose. And, and if you do, it feels like you, like to me, you know, like my energy just gets sucked out. I'm like, Oh, we lost a Barton. Like, come on, it's Barton. Um, but, uh, yes, it's, it's crazy. It's, they're f great games, fun games to go to, you know, hopefully this year we can get, you know, a couple in for the sports, you know, so bring that rivalry back. I miss it. <laughs> Who are some of your mentors that you look up to as you got started into sports photography? Um, I haven't worked with too many sports photographers. I've pretty much done this, you know, on my own, but I've always had some people I've looked up to. Um, Evan Pike, you know, he does a lot around here, UNC, Duke, um, the Hurricanes, the Panthers. I mean, he, everything here. Like he, he's one of my favorites to uh, just to follow. Um, there's a few people, you know, and messages so they're not really sports photographers but photographers who've reached out um neil i get his name wrong every time it's like leifer muhammad ali's shot where you can see the lights on the crowd and everything just you know shining down it's a, it's an iconic photo um Al Bello, Bella, I, I'm bad with last names, forgive me, uh, but he, like, shoots the Olympics. I mean, that, to me, that's almost the epitome 
you know, to, to shoot because there's only a handful of people that do it. Once you get that spot, it's yours till pretty much you relinquished it. Um, and you're doing the best of the world. It's not like, you know, people in an area. It's like world, you know, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't really think of a couple off the top of my head. Um, uh, TJ, man. TJ, he's a graduate from UMO. I, he uh, he does great work. Um, he's not really – I don't consider him in one specific spot in photography. He's got his fingers and everything. Uh, love the guy. Uh, he, his photos are great. Um, you know, we, me and him talk periodically, and you know, I'm always like, dude, I wish I – his photos really tell stories. Um, let's see – you know, Bobby Williams, he's pretty much like a local legend around here, you know, dudes everywhere. I just saw him yesterday in Goldsboro. Uh, got to catch up with him for a little bit. Um, he does everything. Um, what, av what advice would you give sports photographers wanting to go into college area photography? Uh, find out who you can talk to about taking the photos, you know, um, athletic director, just find out, you know, but have your camera on you. Um, you're going to get told no a lot, but it only takes one yes to open a door. Trust me, I have been told no way more than yes. Um, sometimes it's a little heartbreaking. You just got to work at it always take photos, always have your camera on you. Um, people think I'm crazy when I'm like, yeah, my camera's literally beside my bed. So I don't know what's going to happen. You know, like I get a call, boom, I got my camera, let's go. Um, I take my camera everywhere, you know, take a couple of them, take a couple lenses with you. You don't know what you're going to need. Um, always be willing to help. I've definitely met a lot of people that, they don't care that you're there taking photos because you're on, you know, their, their turf. Um, but you just got to get through that. Always be nice. You know, uh, my big thing is just always be willing to help. Um, I'm always, if anyone's like, Hey, you mind if I come tag on? I'm like, nah, I'm going to, but I got to introduce you to this guy. So he knows you're with me. Um, and you know, I can, you know, you might be able to go somewhere to take photos and, I can go somewhere and you can't kind of thing, but don't get discouraged. Just work hard. You know, always keep asking questions because you're going to get a lot of no's, but again, you know, like that's, man, there's probably for every 10 no's, there's at least a maybe in there and then a yes. So just, I mean, yeah, always have a camera on you. Always. Are there any future plans for your sports photography career? Um, well, I graduate, you know, this is my senior year coming up. Um, I've got a few things in the works. Can't really say too much just because of the fact I'm not graduated yet. Don't know who's going to kind of offer the jobs first. Um, so I'm not trying to mess that up. Uh, I just, you know, I just hope, you know, I can one day – you know, be with Getty Images, and I'm at the Super Bowl or, you know, the World Series, um, you know, shooting, you know, hopefully the Panthers one day at the Super Bowl and winning this time, um, or, you know, hot, just anything. I don't care what I'm doing as long as, you know, I'm taking photos and I'm happy. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple things in the works. It's just waiting for my degree to be done. Have you ever shot any professional games? Uh, I did one game when I was stationed in Colorado. Um, I had to shoot a uh, Denver Broncos game. I was petrified. Um, you see these guys out here with 400, 500, even a 600 millimeter lens. I mean, they're, they're massive. And here I am with my 70 to 200, and I'm like, okay, uh, I don't have the right gear. I was still with shooting with a crop censored lens or camera. 
Um, I have full frame now, and it's a world of difference. Um, but everyone was there was yeah, pretty much everyone was nice to me there. You know, hey, put your camera at this setting, and they kind of helped me out. Um, that's the only one. Uh, uh, I don't. I would consider the Carol that, but but you know, hopefully the Panthers or the Hurricanes will reach out to. Me. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? Uh, so my Instagram and Facebook's James Benson Photography. You know the the usual first last name photography at the ends. Uh, that's pretty much the two I I go to. Um, I'm working on building a site so I can get away from Facebook. I'm not a big Facebook fan, but you know it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, definitely those two. You know. Please go, you know, look at the photos. Let me know which ones you like and, you know, reach out if you're an athlete or anything. You know, I'll take a photo. Thank you again for your interview, James. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at talk underscore, I mean, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at talk underscore Brandon, and you can find us at YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, James, for your interview. I appreciate it, man. It's an honor. It's pretty cool to be interviewed. <laughs> You're welcome.